<coughs> hey guys, what's going on? Petey here. So today we're going to be talking about the Mitsubishis versus the Douglas Dauntless. Now, these two bomber aircraft are both offensive bomber aircraft, meaning that they're used to kill enemy armies and enemy flak in order to kill off the entire army. So these things are made to be very fast, okay? Right now, the current meta is using the Mitsubishis. You'll run 20 Avros or Strats, and then 20 Mitsubishis, and then either flak or jets. And you're gonna be using these to go in, and whenever an army drops or has dropped, you take your Mitsubishis, go and kill the AA as fast as you can, and then once the AA is down, you just proceed to bomb out the rest of the army. And yeah, that's it. You just, you just destroy them. And that's something that's very special in the, in the airman class. Like, if you're running strats, it's very hard to be able to do that. You're going to need a lot of heals coming in because you come in so slow. Um, like, by the time you even get there, in most cases, you get shot down if it's a cannoneer, fully upgraded AAs. So... These are pretty cool. They have their they have their own little niche, and it's they're pretty solid. Now, um, the reason I wanted to make this video is because right now everybody is on the Mitsubishi's. Like most people have these bombers maxed, and you normally see Avros and Mits, and that's it. So, um, I made a bomber video like like a couple weeks ago and compared all of them, and I noticed that the Douglas was nearly just as fast as the Mitsubishi, and it has way better stats. And I was like, that's kind of interesting. Like, I, And I, I've done a little more research now. As you can see, I have the stats pulled up and it's quite crazy. So uh, let, me, let me bring you through them and maybe we can reach the same conclusion from this video. So um, starting off, we have move speed. Um, Mitsubishi's right out of the gate, they get 5.4 move speed, while Dauntless's get 5.2. With the officers, so by this, each bomber has their own officer. Like there's a Mitt officer and then a Douglas officer. So they each have one. I took those into account. And then also for both of them, I had Henry H. Arnold come into account too. So this is saying like you're running a max air army. Um, so with those officers, those are the different move speeds. Then with Battlefield Tech, this is just the plus 20% speed that you find in the Battlefield Tech. And then with max speed, this is taking into account every buff you can get. Well, not buff, but every airman tech you can get. So the plus 20% speed in tier one, and then the plus 15% in tier four. So with all that added up, you're looking at 9.72 for the mitts, and the Douglases have 9.36. It's a 0.36 differential. It's The Douglases are 0.36, which if you do the math, it's lower than 4%. It's like 0.3, it's like 3.7%, 3 something like that. So, yeah. Now let's look at the stats. Um, you can see here, infantry, we're going we're gonna to look at the max stats. The red, the red numbers are just with officers, and then the white are with battlefield tech, airman tech tree, um, officers, and everything you can possibly get in there. So... Looking at this, we're going to look at the maxed ones. So we're showing that you nearly double. It's like a it's like a 80% increase moving from the mitts to the Douglases um, for infantry, vehicle, and armor. Okay, so for land stuff, you're talking about each of your Douglases will have 3,700 armor, and then this is at level one, folks. This is level one out of 85. So it's pretty nuts. Um, if you get that up to 85, this can easily be over like four and a half to 5k. And then over here it'd be about, you know, whatever. But <clears throat> yeah, these are at level one. You're talking about having 4k versus armor. So the big one here though is the versus vehicle because this is what AAR, Whirlies and Flak 41, they're vehicles. So um, you get about double your, your capabilities here. Now moving down to buildings. Here you have 1140, here you have 790. With these offensive bombers, you're never really killing buildings. Like you can, you can go out there and drop some bombs, but it's pretty inefficient and that's why you run Avros or Strats behind. So these guys can take out all the units and then the other bombers come in and they kill the, they kill the actual city or buildings. 
Um, <clears throat> and then finally we have versus ship here. The mitts are made to kill ships. They're so fast because they have to be fast to kill ships. And they have crazy bonuses there. So basically how you should look at it is the Mitsubishi is a very fast Navy killer. And the Douglas is a very fast um, Army killer, an anti-air killer. Uh, so the way I play, I'm always on the land. I'm always going after cities. I'm always with my league mates fighting over cities, fighting over league cities, so on and so forth. I hardly ever go over the water. I actually try not to. So that way I can drop my AA if something comes up, if jets come up or something. So I'm almost never over the water. Um, so for me, Douglas is they'll make sense 99.9% .9 of the time. Now, if we're on a big Navy map and you're trying to hunt out uh, enemy navies, Mitsubishi's are probably the way to go. Uh, they probably are. Like, I typically haven't seen Mitsubishi's fight navy before. Granted, I never run navy or mitts, so I've never really seen it. The first time I ever seen it was today, and I have 90 fields under my belt. I saw it today three different times, where like 24 Mitsubishis went against like 20 um, maxed out cruisers and the Mitsubishis won that fight and they came out with like 15 left. So they are very efficient at killing ships. It's just what's more important killing ships or killing anti-air to you. So you can keep that in mind. And then looking down at the HP, um, the Mitsubishis do have a higher HP, which is important. Uh, they have a plus 1200 hp and it kind of is what it is okay so they do get more hp i think mitts max out at 16 or 17k and then these douglases are like 15 to 16k so in retrospect it's only like a, a little bit difference maybe like five percent something like that but you're doubling your land damage so yeah um looking at these stats just just like this how i am it's pretty crazy not to think you want to go Douglases. Uh, unless you're a big Navy player, like Douglases are the freaking way to go, man. I, I, I can't believe that Mitsubishis are, are meta, especially on like globals and stuff, you know? Like these Douglases are quick and they're dangerous. So I, I, I want to know from you guys, is there anything I'm missing here? Like, is there any reason that everybody decided to go Mits? Because it's just, I'm looking at this data and I'm like, Dude, there's no, like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, is is that 4% speed boost worth it? Really? The 4%? I really don't think so. So, you guys let me know in the comments. If I'm missing something here and you think mitts are better, um, put in there why, and we'll all look at the comments together, and we'll see if anyone has a good reason. Otherwise, the Douglases are the best freaking offensive bomber, and everyone who ran mitts, you guys messed up. It's going to take twice as many mitts to kill that flak. So, yeah, pretty crazy. So I, thought, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I had my mind blown. I'm gonna start going into Douglases and I'm gonna run Douglases and Avros or Strats, you know? And that's gonna be the army and it's gonna be like freaking nasty. So I thought I wanted to share this with you guys. This was a cool video. It took me a long time. So if you can, leave a like, um, subscribe if you wanna see more videos. Please recommend some videos. I love doing them and I'll answer any of your guys' questions. So I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you next time. BD out.